Hi everyone, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you why I deleted my most popular video on YouTube. A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded this video, Dropbox and Revit, and the idea was to show you how to host your central model using Dropbox as your cloud storage. So you could use it with two different computers from two different locations, two different Autodesk accounts. And the idea was to provide you with a low cost option if you couldn't afford the Autodesk Construction Cloud services. So in the video, I show you how to change the Dropbox main location in your computer. And then I run a little example so you see how it would work. And you know, I test it out and it worked for me. I did it from two different computers, two different Autodesk accounts, two different locations. You know, and the video was doing great. It was performing great. As you can see, it took off way better than any other video that I have posted to date. But then a few people mentioned that this could lead to potentially destructive consequences. So I ended up unlisting the video and I changed the thumbnail to put a warning on it. And then immediately I released another video issuing an official BIM it up warning. And we talked about the file sharing protocols and we focus on the SMB protocol. I explained to you how it worked. And then I explained to you the different file storage options that you have. And we focus on AWS, the Amazon Web Services. I explained their storage options. And I ended up encouraging you to do your own research and to be extremely careful. But even then, people were looking for the video. So here you can see when I unlisted the video, but then people would still find it with a link. And even though I published a warning and I put a disclaimer and I say, don't do this, people would still watch the video way more than any other videos that I have posted up to date. So I ended up deleting the video from YouTube. Uh, deleting the video was not an easy task. It was a painful task because it, it was a successful video. It was my most successful video. Um, but yeah, I removed it um, and I'm not going to upload it again, right? It is gone. It is removed. And I not only deleted it from YouTube, I deleted it from any other social media. Uh, it was a painful process because it kept reminding you that it could have been a great video, a very popular video, but I deleted it from everywhere. Disregard the Seinfeld thing. And I wanna be very clear about something. I'm gonna to go to YouTube analytics right here. And you can see that the channel has been growing slowly but surely in a very steady way. By the way, this is how much I made on the lifetime of the channel. Over two and a half years, okay? So I don't do this because of the money. But you can see how the channel has been growing slowly but surely in a very consistent strong way we're building a strong nice community supportive and and that's why i do it you know but even though it's growing steadily and strongly it, you can see it here right here's when i posted the video and when i took it out so why did i delete it i deleted it because i care you know i care about the comments i, I care about helping others that's why i created the channel so I'm gonna keep posting videos with my primary goal in mind, which is helping you out. Have a good day and see you in the next video.